hello and welcome to my channel EVS edu dear friends today i am going to deliver my lecture on biodiversity at global and national levels let us begin this lecture with the status of biodiversity at global level every biota on this planet earth need some basic requirements for sustenance of life and are dependent upon various abiotic factors. The status of biodiversity at any level is dependent upon some physical or at times biological environment. Flora and fauna which are considered very important part of biodiversity at any level depends on various factors such as climate, altitude, soils and presence of other species. There is influence of all these factors on any life form of which belongs to flora and faunal diversity and these factors make either that is climate altitude, soils and the presence of other species make variations among the different variabilities of life forms and different ecosystems vary from one another. There is the um, difference of these important factors that sometimes it is the difference due to the color having the variation in the climate or the altitude and difference or the difference in the soil properties either it may be the texture of the soil or it may be the colors of different colors of the soil or the presence of the other species this may it may be in the form of the mutualism commensalism parasitism or in any other form dear friends the biodiversity at global level is not easy to present or to give exact figures of all levels of life forms and making better understanding of the status of biodiversity at global level. Various initiatives had been undertaken from time to time. The initiative for biodiversity assessment was taken long back in 1991 with the United Nations Environmental Protections. Biodiversity Country Studies projects consisting of bilateral and global environmental facility funded studies in developing countries implemented and in cooperation with donor countries and United Nations Development Programme. In this preparations date back to 1987 and as far as this preparation is concerned 90 studies have been completed and several more are yet to complete and dear friends the present geological era is perhaps the richest in biological diversity. About 2.1 million species have been identified till date while many more species are believed to exist. According to UN Convention on Environmental Protection Estimate, the total number of species that might exist on Earth are about 52 million. Invertebrate animals and plants make up the most species. About 71, sorry, about 70% 70 of all known species are invertebrates. Invertebrates are those animals which have no backbone, such as insects, sponges, worms, etc. While 15% are plants. Mammals, the animal group to which man belongs, comprise a comparatively 
small number of species. Okay. Moving ahead with this data that con conservative estimates of the existing biodiversity is 10 million species. If estimates for insects are correct, then it could be around 30 million species. We have till now analyzed about 1.4 million species. It includes, among other others, about 98% birds, 95% reptiles and amphibians, 90% fishes, and 85% higher plants. This table depicts the different life forms known and their known species, estimates total species. Among these life forms, it starts from insects and other arthropods. And uh, there are, this is the known species number. Similarly, higher plants, this is the number. Invertebrates, lower plants, microorganisms. This is the another part of this table, which de uh, depicts the other groups of uh, biodiversity, such as fishes, birds, reptiles, and amphibians, and mammals. And finally, it gives a representation of the total number which is present at global level. This total number includes all life forms, which are pre present in the previous slide and in this slide. Now, moving ahead with biodiversity at national level. As we are well aware about the fact that India is one among the top mega biodiversity nations, there is no denying fact that India holds a rich biodiversity across its all states and union territories. Having numerous features which support its rich biodiversity which I discussed in the previous lecture. As for the rank of different biodiversity levels is concerned, India is 10th among the plant rich countries. India is 4th among the Asian countries, 11th according to the number of endemic species of higher vertebrates. It ranks 10th in the world as far as richness in mammals is concerned. In addition to this, the crops which first grew in India and spread throughout the world include rice, sugarcane, Asiatic grass, jute, mango, citrus, and banana, and several other species of spices medicinal plants, aromatic and ornamental plants. With these, India ranks 7th among the centers of diversity and origins in terms of biodiversity. These figures. India has over 1,8276 species of bacteria, fungi, plants and animals already identified and described. Out of these insects consisted 49.3% followed by fungi 21.2% and flowering plants 13.9%. In terms of the number of species, the insect alone can shoot nearly half of the biodiversity in India, as depicted in this picture. Here are the rest groups which are shown their percentage contribution. These are the major groups like insecta, fungi, and flowering plants, then other 
others like gymnosperms, uh, pteridophytes, bryophytes, bacteria, mammalian, and so on and so forth. This figure pictures the overall biodiversity contribution of various life forms in India. These all these species occur on land, fresh and marine waters, or occur as a symbiotes in mutualistic or parasitic state with other organisms. This is the table which represents the number of bacteria, fungi, plant and animals in India. These are the very taxas ranging from the bacteria to the mammals. This is the number of species and this column depicts their percentage. And dear friends, before concluding my lecture, here are the highlights of status of biodiversity at local levels. Jammu and Kashmir is rich in biodiversity. Due to having favorable climate and other factors which are very necessary for sustenance of various life forms in its environments. Dear friends, as far as flora of Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, here is a wide range of floral diversities ranging from algae to angiosperms which represent their number in this table. If we talk about the algae, we have a total number of 1065 taxa of algae recorded so far, 548 species of fungi, 424 species of lichens recorded, 420 species of bryophyta, 328 mosses, 91 liverworts. As far as pteridophyta is concerned, we have 200 species belonging to 44 genera under 19 families. Similarly, gymnosperms contribute total 41 species, 20 occur in wild and 21 cultivated, 26 species reported from Jumu and 28 from Kashmir. And angiosperms have 5056 taxa comprising 4778 species plus 278 subspecies or varieties belonging to 1306 genera in 180 families recorded so far. This table depicts fauna of Jammu and Kashmir starting from Antus to Mammalus. In Artus, we have 198 taxa, which include species and subspecies representing 54 genera in seven subfamily recorded so far. The second class here is uh, butterflies. We have 408 species. Among them, Kashmir harbor is the highest number of species, that is 274, followed by Jumu 192. In case of Diptera, we have 107 species. In moths, we have 461 species. Among them, Jumu has highest moth diversity, 392 species, followed by Kashmir, 332 species. Some act as pests, causing huge damage to major crops. As far as fishes is concerned, we have 120 species in total from both Jammu and Kashmir. Among them, 105 includes Jammu and 23 from Kashmir. We have 7 species of amphibians and 63 species of reptiles in Jammu and Kashmir. And in case of birds, JNK is home to 555 species of birds and 76 families. And finally, if we talk about the mammals, then we have 120, 112 species of mammals. Thank you for watching this lecture. Please subscribe YouTube channel EVS EDU for 
such kind of lectures. Please like, share and press the bell icon for more updates regarding the biodiversity and other topics related to environmental studies and environmental science. Thank you very much.